let's do a simple weldment exercise in SOLIDWORKS so just right click on any of the tab go to tabs and activate weldments now for weldment you need a sketch so either you can create a sketch with the help of 3d sketch tool or simply you can use a sketch command now activate top plane now here I'm going to draw one sketch activate center rectangle let me draw one rectangle activate line tool and I'm going to draw one center line escape key to out if you press left mouse right mouse and drag and you will see these options again activate escape key to out now here if you want to mirror this simply activate mirror entity mirror entities to mirror click line make sure you selected copy mirror about select this line and you will see it is going to mirror say yes activate smart dimension now let's apply dimensions 900 1000 millimeter 1900 and 1000 millimeter and uh, let's define this distance 1900 divided by 2 divided by 2 it's going to be 475 now exit from the sketch now again we need to create some more sketch so I am going to select plane center plane front plane now second reference I am going to select this one but this is parallel perpendicular so here click parallel say ok activate sketch make sure you selected plane 1 activate line tool Now select these two lines equal that's it now select these two lines hold shift key and leave and see equal even though let's apply corner fillet 120 now let me choose say yes say yes why it is asking you because this is not fully defined say ok cancel now let's activate the smart dimension we will define this one 250 and overall length 700 ok let me add some more line activate line tool this is for base one fifty okay let's define this let's say this is thousand say okay okay that's fine select this end point hold shift key go inside look the drawing it's fully defined it's fully defined already if you exit let me hide this and we want to similar thing we want to make in other side so I am going to do the same thing plane first reference plane it's going to be front plane the second one I am going to directly choose this line and here activate parallel ok go to sketch and activate sketch on the plane 2 you must select plane 2 first now here I am going to select this ok let me hold shift key and select this all geometry hold shift key select this all and just rotate and here activate convert entities now see it is converted in the selected plane exit hide plane now this is our basic structure now let's go to weldment first we will do we will add some structure so first activate structural member now first we have to choose the standard there are many standards so I am going to select inches type you have to choose 
let's say we want to add pipe in pipe you will see the size 1.5 is schedule 40 now in group 1 you have to choose first group now you have to choose all sep one by one because this is not continuous geometry now this is group 1 if you select this one you, you can't so you have to click new group now once you selected new group it will redirect you and now we are able to select new group now this is located at center so we don't need to change anything else rest keep as it is okay let's come here again activate structural member in structural member you can't change the structure you have to keep same same profile for all the things so if you want to change profile you have to change structure member every time so this is the second structural member going to change now for this one i am going to select iso type iron angle size let's say 35 by 35 now let me choose one two in one group this is continuous parallel so we can choose it but there is a problem this is going to upside we want downside so come down first apply corner so this is the meter corner and meter so this is enough for us even you can change it look see but meter is going to be perfect for us now here we have to fix this now this is located at center we want to cover this outside also so first we have to change profile downward size this is going upward mirror plane look this is going to be towards downward size one more thing locate profile now this is the important thing now you will see this profile you will see a dotted gray line this is the profile located at this pink corner I want to change up to this see I selected on this point and the whole geometry shifted at center of the body you will see if I am going to select top look so simply say yes even though let's add some more structural member now this time I am going to add ISO rectangle tube is ISO and here rectangle tube size let's say 60 by 40 now I am going to select 1 2 now this is parallel so we can add in one group now there is a problem look this is not the perfectly going to match so we want to change angle come here 90 degree click somewhere and it is change look and even it is located at center the profile center also located at the line say ok that's fine ok let's do some more trim and extend now here bodies to trim which body you want to trim so I am going to select this body and this body and trimming boundary with reference you want to trim so select body or face I am going to choose body and I am going to select this one now you will see here it is selected keep keep discard discard you want to keep this one right say ok before going to make ok you will see here allow extension so either you choose hooped cut or you can say this is simple cut so I am going to keep simple cut ok now this is trimmed see 
if I am going to hide this one, look, undo. Now the similar way you can do for all, corner we will keep whatever we apply in and trim, bodies you want to trim, one, two, reference body for trimming, now these two keep discard, say ok. Similarly these two bodies for reference, this one, we want to keep this angle and inside this angle discarded. Similarly again the last one, these two bodies for reference, this one, these discarded body it is the inside part of the angle. That's it. Even let's add some more angle. Let me go to structural member, ISO and again angle size will keep same. Let's say 1, 2, 3. But we want to change this direction. So let's say 180 degree. Now see it is moving downward side. Say OK but you have to trim same apply extend trim bodies to trim so i'm going to select this all body and faces to trim or bodies in this kit body work so i'm going to select these two bodies now here you will see which body going to keep this angle going to keep and you will see discarded thing okay now if i'm going to move and you will see this is perfectly aligned with this If select hide and see this is perfectly cut so this is the simple exercise even let me control key and hide this all access okay this is also we need to trim extend trim bodies to trim let's say this one this one and uh, for reference i am going to select these four bodies see here preview activated allow extension and the things here if i am going to hide and you will see this is the profile so this is how you can make a structural structures steel structures in solidworks with the help of solidworks weldment tool even you can select from here cut list see all pipe angle tube everything you will see here right click and see isolate and you will be able to see i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching